In this tutorial, we will introduce the Hotlink Manager dialog and explain every function. Then we will see an example of how quickly and easy it is to open, modify, and refresh a module file using the Hotlink Manager. Let's get started and activate the first preset view. In this view, we can see a building part with four apartments. Activate the next preset view. We have three different basic apartment modules in the model. These are Apartment Type 3, Type 1, and Type 2. You can select these modules by clicking one of its elements, but make sure that the Suspend Groups is switched off. Activate the next preset view. All basic modules have additional submodules. For example, every apartment has the same bath module type, Bath 1. Apartments 1 and 2 have the Kitchen 1 type, and Apartment 3 has the Kitchen 2 type submodule. Open the Hotlink Manager dialog. To do this, select File, External Content, Hotlink Manager. You can see the hierarchy of the Hotlinked modules in the upper window. This provides a perspicuous picture about the structure of the inserted Hotlink modules. The top of the hierarchy is the basic PLN file. Underneath it are located the three basic module apartments and under those the bath and kitchen submodules. This hierarchy could be arbitrarily long with many, many submodule levels. You can see the list of the Hotlink sources in the lower window. The Hotlink sources list displays the sources of the hotlinked module files together with the status of each of these files. Now, we're using normal PLN files for basic modules and mod extension files for submodules, but you can use only PLN or only mod files as well. If you select a module file in the upper window, this file will also be selected in the lower window. If you have multiple modules or basic modules containing the same submodule, only the lower window will display the source file, but all similar files will be highlighted in the upper window. The reverse is true as well if you select the source files one by one in the Hotlink Sources window. Select Apartment 03 in the upper window. Next to the windows, you can see some information about the file that has been selected. Hotlink type could be multi-story or single-story. Story number is the number of the place to story or stories from the source file. Story name is the name of the place story from the source file. Instances shows how many placed modules we have. File size. Modified shows the last version that was saved. And where shows the path. On the selected module, you can perform the following operations. Change Hotlink. Click this button to select a different hotlink. The selected module will be replaced on the floor plan by the newly linked module. Save As File. Click this button to save the selected module to an external file. This will be a mod extension file. Break Hotlink. Click this button to break the hot link between the module elements and their source file. The result? The elements contained in the module are now regular editable ARCHICAD elements and are no longer part of a module and no longer linked to any other source file. Delete. Click this button to delete all instances of the selected module in this project. Skip nested modules. Check this box if you do not wish to display the elements contained in any nested modules of the selected module. Update. For any file having the status of modified, click the Update button to update all instances of the module placed in your project from the selected source file. Relink. Use this command to replace the selected hotlink source with another file. This means that all module instances based on the original source will now be replaced by modules based on the new source you've relinked here. Open in separate ARCHICAD. Use this command to open the selected source file in a new instance of ARCHICAD. This way you can edit the file. 
If you wish, save the edited source file and click Update in Hotlink Manager to have all placed module instances based on this source file reflect your edits. Refresh status. You should use this command after you modify a module from the Hotlink Manager dialog using the Open in a separate ARCHICAD file command. Show Hierarchy in Browser command opens a browser window where you can see a clear overview about the Hotlink structure with the file name, path, and status. Select two or all of the apartment basic modules in the lower window. All operations will be gray and inactive except update and relocate. If you select more files, the relink button changes to relocate and brings up a directory dialog box allowing you to choose a folder location. Now, select one of the submodules, for example, Bath01. You can perform only three operations on the selected model. Only the Save As file, the Update, and the Open in separate ARCHICAD function will be active. Press OK to leave the dialog. First, zoom to the Bath01 modules at the border of Apartment 3 and 1, and then zoom to the third Bath module, which is located in Apartment 2. Check the modules. All bath modules are the same, only the zone stamps have rotated in the bath of apartment 2. Zoom back to the bath models that are next to each other and then select one of the modules. Make sure the suspend groups is inactive. Click on the right mouse button and select the Hotlink Manager from the context menu. Here is an alternative to opening the dialog. Select the Bath 1 module and open it in a separate instance of ARCHICAD. In just a few seconds, the selected file opens in another instance of ARCHICAD. Double click on the middle mouse button to fit in window. Modify the bath. Replace the basin, mirror it to the other side of the bath corner, and then change the opening direction of the door to the parvis at the right off the bath. Save the module and go back to the main file. The Hotlink Manager dialog is still open. Refresh the status. You will see the status of the bath will change to modified. Select this file in the list again and update it. Finally, press OK to leave the dialog and activate the updating. As you can see, both changes have been made in all the bath modules. The great benefit is, you don't have to open the apartment module files, which contain the modified bath submodule, to modify the bath module files. The Hotlink Manager saves us this step by managing this update. Users will benefit from greater productivity and better coordination when using Hotlink modules, especially on large projects. Updating even very complex hotlink structures is now significantly faster while the size of the host file is smaller. One-step updates for hotlinked modules, including nested modules. Nested modules are updated from their own source files, so you don't have to open the hotlinks with nested modules separately in order to update them. A comprehensive user interface provides clear overview of module instances and hierarchy. This allows you to open a separate instance of ARCHICAD with the source file from the Hotlink Manager. Improved performance provides smaller file sizes when placing multiple instances of a single module.